Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Dark Basic Professional tutorial series. In this tutorial series we are going to cover creating games with Dark Basic Professional. Uh, now the nice thing about Dark Basic is it's very easy to make 2D and 3D games with it. Uh, however, we'll probably actually spend most of our time just creating 3D games with it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is obviously we need to get Dark Basic Professional. So go to the GameCreators.com website go to game development and then click Dark Basic Professional. Now there is a free version now of Dark Basic. You don't have to buy it anymore, but it is ad supported. So you can just click this banner or go to downloads and then select the free version. And right here where it says download, just click it and then wait till it's done. Now note, uh, it actually includes the App Game Kit, which is TGC's new product, uh, but we won't be covering that at all because I don't have it. So. We're just going to cover and stick with Dark Basic Pro. Okay, so once you have that downloaded and installed, launch it and you will see something like this. Uh, this is what it looks like when you first create it, just an empty project. Uh, we will cover the ID slowly as we go, uh, but most of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Like file new, you can create a new project or a blank file. Close, you can close the current file, save can open up and I've been messing around with physx because I do have uh, a bunch of the plugins. Uh, edit does basically what it does in every other text editor slash IDE. You can compile in different modes. You can just compile it, compile it and run. It also shows you all the hotkeys. Compile and run in debug mode, compile and run in step through mode, and you can execute the last build. You can use this in full screen, select which toolbars you want. Uh, tools, the plugins manager, the plugins. I'm not really sure if that works. Um, I haven't used Dark Basic in a while. Uh, and then here we have the help, which you can use. Okay, so the first thing we're going to learn is obviously Hello World, which is something you learn in pretty much every language. So to do that, we'll type print. And at the left here, whenever you have a command highlighted, or sorry, you're on a line with the command, it'll actually tell you what it does, print it, print statements, and basically we're just gonna call this hello world. Now one really weird thing about Dark Basic uh, is that print is exactly the same as this and exactly the same as that. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, the commands are not case sensitive. So if you're okay with doing it all lowercase, or if you want to do it all uppercase, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so now we're just going to hit F5 real quick, and then it'll compile it for us, and we'll see it for a second, then it'll go away. So how do we prevent this? Well, we use the command wait key, and as you can see down here, it has no parameters, and then we hit F5 again, and now you can see we have hello world right up here in the corner and our dark basic pro project and now we just hit any key and it'll just go away okay so the next thing we're going to cover is comments now you already see some comments up here which is the rem now if you do rem it's single line alright and if you hit the tilde key So both of these are single line, however if you want multi-line comments, you want to do the rem start command. Sorry. And then you hit enter and anything below this will be commented out. And then we just use rem end. And then we can add this back in and then hit F5. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're gonna cover um, variables inside of Dark Basic, and we'll probably have just a few tutorials that show just a quick crash course on the syntax itself. And then we're just gonna jump straight into uh, coding. So if you have any ideas for a game, uh, we won't be using any uh, external uh, third-party libraries uh, in this entire dark basic. We'll use just stock 
uh, Dark Basic, and if I can find any, we will also use some, uh, well, some free, because uh, I am actually looking for free physics lib to use. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. Thank you.